hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another video so today as you can see we're up close and personal because we are up close and personal as you can see so today i'm pretty much going to be vulnerable <sighs> my least favorite thing to do okay let me not lie i don't mind it it's just that like <sighs> <laughs> I don't like doing it on the net, you know. I think to some extent, like, I just really decided that, you know, I... certain things you're just gonna have to do, whether you like it or not. And we yeah. care. Anyways, um, but I also really want to speak about trusting God during a period of uncertainty, which is obviously the title of this film. Can we take some time to actually speak about how long my eyelashes are? Because I didn't even put mascara and I don't think you guys noticed that. So call me if you want tips on how to grow your eyelashes. <laughs> when you pray about certain things, there are those periods where it feels like God is blue taking you there. And I also just really want to talk about like how dark that phase is, guys. God is just giving that Microsoft sound. Do you know that dee -dee 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 sound like it happens so anyways what i'm really trying to say is that the past few months of this year really have been tough they've really been great it's like the highs have been high the lows have been low like they say you know um but obviously i did feel like this year is definitely going to be different in comparison to other years but it's just that like there was a lot of things that happened in between that i was not expecting you know like a lot of things that just really happened in between that i wasn't anticipating nor was i ready for them to come and i feel like dealing with uncertainty was just definitely one of them you know and i feel like there's really certain times where you just really give life your best and give everything your best and still the outcome is just but another thing about me is that i'm also like a, a person who really likes putting things into perspective for themselves and really getting a broader understanding because the reason why i'm saying this guys is because like when bad things happen bro like i just don't like talking about it you know and i think this is one of the reasons why i have never filmed like uni content on my channel especially when i was still going through my undergrad i never used to film content about what is this ordain the life of uj students or whatever you know i never used to do that because that was pretty much the toughest phase of my life like ah it was hard and me being me i really don't like like putting myself in a situation where like i talk about these things often or just bruh i just want myself out of it you understand like if I, if i'm in a situation and i can't remove myself or even when i speak to people and there's nothing they can do about it i don't like talking about it if there's nothing that can happen if there's no miracle that can happen that can pull me out of the situation i don't like talking about it so that's me as much as we really speak about these things you always also wonder like why do negative things continuously happen like why is it that the past keeps repeating itself you know um and the reason why i'm saying this is because i came to this realization that when i speak about things as i'm going through them like negative things and i'm just like daunting i'm tired of this ah oh, screw life what a, what a, what a. you know what i all that chat i just really hate it because i feel like it's just the way of me absorbing this thing again so it's like rehearsing it in your head the reason why i'm saying this is the way you speak about life is the way or the way in which your mind is centered the thoughts that are centered are in your mind or whatever it is that you center your mind what am i saying <laughs> the thought in which you center your mind in is basically what becomes your reality that's what i'm saying like it's just like how you actually think about something then it happens and it's like it really absorbs you so much and i feel like that is why like i don't like talking about these things in the present moment but i just really like journaling things praying about them most importantly and just really processing it and letting it go you know and i feel like once that time period has passed that's where i'm able to start opening up and just telling people that yo you know what when i was going through that A B C D E F G like that you know only because i feel like i'm a person who really likes changing negative situations into positive situations more like what did god want me to learn in this particular situation you know and even when i tell people like hey this is what happened 
I also say that I think that God was trying to teach me A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you know. But what I'm really trying to say is that um, it's so, it's really also important to actually recognize like the blessing that happens in disguise because things working out your way is really great. It's amazing, but there's also a blessing in disguise that pretty much happens when things don't work out your way and it's really up to you on to how you see it. And I really feel like this year has just truly been such a tough year only because like I don't know why I've just really felt this massive burden that I cannot like pinpoint. I can't really say what it is but this one time I was listening to this sermon by um, Pastor Stephanie the sermon is titled Understanding Times and Seasons. I will also link the description box. But I felt like that sermon was so life changing because everything that she had mentioned in that video is actually what I have been going through. And sometimes guys, there's a lot of negative things. I think that's maybe why I had started with that whole negative chat stuff like that. But I feel like there's a lot of negative things that can pretty much happen where God is just trying to show you that this no longer um, could become a part of your life you know the this lifestyle basically and the way that you're living your life cannot it does not align with your future self but all that i'm really trying to say guys is that i feel like it's so tough to be in a period of confusion whereby i remember telling one of my friends that you know i'd like this phase that i'm in i really don't know what is going on with my life and i feel like it really is such a scary chapter to be in or season to be in especially if you're a person who's always in control i want to know what am i putting myself into i want to know what's ahead what is going to happen so that i plan in advance and i'm good so basically i'm just a person who always likes being on top of the game and i really like having everything structured out like that's me gets harder when you're in a season where you just don't know what's gonna happen because it's so scary because you just gotten so used to knowing what's ahead what it is that you need to deal with what's here what's there but once you reach a point in your life where you just don't know anything and it's like even if i plan what am i planning for you know and <sighs> that like i really told my friend that you know what like i'm just really in a period in my life where i actually don't know what's going on you know like i don't know what i'm doing you know like i genuinely don't know what i'm doing i don't know where i'm going i don't know like what is happening she just told me that you know what dude like i think at first like she really laughed about it because it's just like what do you mean kind of thing because like i said the type of person that i am I'm a person who always likes planning out this stuff and so on and so forth but i also feel like things Get, and so she actually re realized that okay she's serious like okay this is actually one of those chats she really gave me like she just told me that you know what dude like i really cannot be the person to just advise you on anything you know even though like i've been through this path that you're talking about and i just finally got my breakthrough but it's just like i know what you've been through i know what you're going through right now because i've been there and I, I can't be the person to really give you advice because it's just a crazy thing to go through but i really don't want to lie like i know my breakthrough is coming and i just really know that like things are aligning and i really know that god really uses a season in your life to prepare you for the good but at the same time it's just like having to go through that phase where you just don't know if whether like you, you don't know what's happening you don't even know where you're going and all you could obviously just do is to just truly pray the reason why i'm also saying this is because i really think that god has used that moment or this particular phase that i'm in i've been here for you guys uh, it's not the first time like me recording this video is just not the first time just yeah first time in my entire life in my entire 23 years of being alive where i felt like i've went through so many seasons so quickly like i've went through so many seasons so quickly and in such a short period of time it's like i'm here i'm there i'm this i'm that we leave here no we gotta do that okay pass on with that we gotta do that but i think this could also be my period or my season where god just like when god is just like you know what did you need to calm down you need to chill a bit you know part of the reason why i went on a hiatus is because i'm just like you know what i really want to figure my stuff out now like i really need some time alone to actually figure my stuff out but it's also so hard because like now that i figured everything that i figured out it's just like the major thing that i need to figure out or need confirmation on is like 
trick it but but now it really gets challenging because it's like what are you trying to figure out exactly i'm figuring out what i don't know it's scary but what i'm really trying to get to guys is that um i'm really trusting god's timing above everything i remember when i was actually speaking about i don't know who i was speaking to but like i think i really spoke about like the way i've really grown so closer to god and built an intimate relationship with him this year during that whole hiatus that i actually took pretty much helped me to see life from a different perspective like i no longer get mad when things don't happen my way because i understand that i'm not in control god is in control you know and i feel like reminding myself of that just really helps me to just really let go a bit and just really let god do his thing you know because i really don't want to say because i'm not feeling god's hand in my life it means that he's not working because I, I really would be lying i feel like he definitely is working it's just a matter of time because i was also telling my friend that like when god just says the season is done you're moving on to the next season and maybe you're entering a season of breakthrough like when things take off with god they take off guys like god is a god of movement god is a god of sequence i've been saying this and that is why like i would never like discredit this period of resting or a period where god really requires you to be still and something like that you definitely do have a season where god just says you know what there's really nothing that i require from you in the season it's just a period for you to rest or well, the reason why i'm actually filming this video is because like when this year started i was just like i'm really getting this burden and this uncomfortable feeling whereby i just really started really feeling like you know what like there's really so much to me than just this you know like i think beginning of the years where i started really getting an insight on who i should be coming or sh the woman that i should be basically in god and what my destiny is because like i think it's that period that just really made me understand like this i just really took some time off i had a moment and i was just trying to understand that like i said in the beginning of this video i know this video is so messy but i hope that you just really get what i'm trying to say like in the beginning of this video i was just like you know what like i'm a person who always wants to know why and i think me slowly starting to hear god's voice was me taking time off and like trying to understand what it is that everyone saw in me because i would have people in my life who don't even know each other who would say the same thing to me all of them at the same time period guys like one would say this when i'd be like no whatever i don't want to entertain that someone else would say it someone else would say it someone else would say it and i used to reach a point in my life where i'd be like what is going on why are all these people saying the same thing you know like i don't want that sometimes as people we never recognize like our capabilities we never recognize our potential nor do we recognize like our destiny you know and sometimes i'm saying this because god could literally use other people to communicate to you and tell you that it hey, dude open your eyes this is where you're meant to be and sometimes god can literally tell you you know it, it's different there's really so much more to me than me being here and this <laughs> there's so much more to me and it's like you want to know what that more is and you really want to actually see yourself taking those baby steps in order for you to reach that more but it's like nothing is happening and it's like it's hard you know like life is tough brah life is really so hard when you have all these expectations for yourself and when you really want to execute it you just have no way of doing it because it's like whatever it is that you try it's obviously not going to be prosperous because you never put god into it and at the second time in order for you to obviously prosper in everything that god has ordained over your life you need to wait upon him and wait according to his timing in accordance to his timing i said that so quickly that it's it's really so easy as a person to be like ah oh, god is really not saying anything i'm really removing this and i'm seeing what i'm gonna do but above everything i feel as people we just as people myself included we just tend to have this thing of like reminding ourselves of god's promises and understanding that god is the one who says this abc it's easier for you to actually see that and understand it it's very easy but to believe it that's the hard part even when things don't turn out the way that you had wanted them to do you actually still believe that this is god's promises do you understand what i'm saying like even in your dog phase do you still understand that this is what god has ordained over my life like i'm holding on onto this promise like even when life is rough and i feel like that's where the concept of faith comes in that even when things haven't happened like you still need to hold on to the idea that god is amazing god pretty much is here to give you hope and a future god pretty much will never forsake you because it's like 
I don't really see this. I, I know it's gonna happen. I'm not seeing it coming. I don't know when it's gonna happen, but I know for sure that it's gonna happen and I feel like that's the tough thing to do. Like seasons like this that also um, make you aware of like how much you've grown spiritually because like I said, I used to be this person to be like, you know what, God, I don't know. And I feel like even in the season where you're just pretty much feeling so discouraged because it's like you don't even see where your efforts are going, you're doing everything, but it's like nothing is happening. <laughs> it really, really, really does like discourage you so much and you just really find it hard continuing with the journey of course but i feel like it's just these seasons that help you to see that you know what like i gotta keep going no matter what but like with all of that i just also made a note here whereby i know for sure that god is actually working with me and preparing me for the next season of my life i know that for sure and that's why i'm saying like in all these things that we go through the hardest thing is to actually believe that god is with you even when you do not see his hand over your life because if his hand is not upon you then he's definitely oh, he's definitely hovering above you and i feel like even when god is putting you in a season of preparation he can't just like verbally utter it and say i am preparing you for the next you know i feel like you as a person need to come to the realization to say you know what like god is definitely preparing me because maybe the next season is gonna be so hectic or maybe the next season things are gonna be so uphill and i feel like even when things don't happen the way you want them to be you just really need to say god it's okay it's fine it's okay like it's fine like i know you have so much more in store for me because i do believe that god is a god who restores like god is a person who flips the scripts at any given time you know like god can make things god can change things in a split second like whether it be difficulty or whatever it is like i don't like entertaining those particular situations because i really feel like it's gonna end up becoming my reality which is what i had said i don't like it like i don't like entertaining the problems the obstacles yes it's hard to ignore them but it's just like bruh, i really don't like putting too much attention or giving too much attention to these things because they really gonna consume you and but anyways getting back to this note, note that i made uh so i pretty much am a person who prays a lot and i journal a lot and i do bible study quite a lot if you watch my vlogs you definitely know this this is what i want to read to you guys and you feel like things are happening simultaneously like everything is coming together and then suddenly things just go downhill so i made a note out of a sermon that i was also listening to which says god is working it out um i'll also link that that sermon down in the description box but yeah i'm just really gonna quote but it says that where we see like abundance and fulfillment so basically when you start seeing when you start being happy about things working out and you're just really getting fulfillment you're getting filled up by everything that you're doing and you're like my efforts are really play paying off and stuff like that and then um yeah i wrote here that god sees lack right then he starts a process in us and that process is what i'm telling you guys right now where god starts restructuring you know and uh, like even when you reach a point where it really feels like things are happening simultaneously and then nothing it's like you start off with so much and then you end up with nothing it's like you take 10 steps forward and 25 steps back i think what i've really gotten from this whole message is that even when you really feel like you're in a season where things are starting to work out god could literally tear it all down you know because god really needs to renovate and god really wants to move shift things in your life and create things to work in accordance to your favor like i definitely know that god will never fail me and yes in this current moment like i have an expectation of something and that something may be delayed for sure for sure it is you know because things are happening and i've also grown to be so matured enough to understand that god is an eternal god god has went ahead of me and he already knows what i'm destined for and i feel this goes back to the verse in isaiah isaiah 42 verse 16 where god pretty much speaks about making our crooked path straight he feels like maybe i actually wanted this and maybe god never wanted it for me because it's also kind of hard for you to distinguish between what you want and what god wants over your life it's hard it's hard to differentiate between your own voice and god's voice it's hard and that is why like each and every single day you need to start praying for the spirit of discernment you need to always pray for the spirit of discernment for you to be able to discern and above all man i just really want to say like 
whenever you're really thinking of throwing in the towel and giving up don't you are closer than you think and maybe there really isn't anything to showcase that but you are very much closer than you think in philippians 1 verse 6 so i'm gonna read the verse um basically it says that being confident in this very thing right that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of jesus christ when god starts something within you he's gonna finish it and i feel like that is also a reason why i've also removed this whole time period thing when i to my goals you know like i need to attain this goal in this time because that's not how god works you know like if you were obviously in control of your life you would have done that but that's not how god works i don't want to lie when god does start something within you he will finish it like god will finish everything that he started because he's a faithful god god is really not a person who changes his mind he doesn't change his mind and whatever it is you also really need to play your part and have faith you know that whatever it is that whatever it is that i'm destined for i'm going to receive it you know it doesn't really matter when but it's coming you know i think it's also important for you in times of difficulty and uncertainty to also hold on to the idea that whatever it is that i want it's on its way it's coming it's coming it's coming it's coming and don't have, don't have like a sense of expectation on like when it's coming but just know that it is coming god can pretty much show you how good things can get you know as much as we really pray about like god please show me how good things can get god can literally show me because god can show you you know because right before i entered the season well to be honest i've always had this feeling of uncertainty for quite some time but like it's always like even as i navigate through that and i also move into other seasons with this feeling of confusion even with that like i don't want to lie to you guys god has really showed me like how good things can get like sometimes god truly allows you to see or for you to be able to get an insight on how good your future can look god can literally do so many things guys in a form of answering your prayers and you'd always feel like wow i never thought i would get here i definitely don't want to come here and lie to you guys and say anything because god truly has showed me like how good things can get and even in a period of uncertainty it's so easy for you to fall into that moment of despair because like i said you have emotions you're allowed to feel that way and i've also really reached a point of feeling like i'm in a moment of despair but at the same time it's more like bro like just give up already you know but at the same time i'm not a quitter man i don't like quitting giving up i don't i don't quit i don't quit i don't like giving up guys i don't like giving, i i don't like giving up i don't like being accustomed to that concept of always wanting to give up you know i feel like in each and every single thing it's always really important as a person to understand what it is that you're destined for and understand that you're worthy of so much more than you think or so much more than you could imagine and yes life does get hard because you could literally pray for something and god can give it to you but it really would require way more than you right now you know, i think it's also important for you to always remind yourself of your why or have your why in the beginning so that when life gets hard you remind yourself about that you know why are we doing this and i think all of this really requires you to be much more intentional in everything that you do and everything that you embark on i think it's very important for you to be very much intentional but above all guys like god is really going to show you like how good things can get and yes i'm 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 I, listen i'm gonna be one person to tell you god definitely showed me how good things can get in my life you know or like how my life could probably turn out i think above all god has shown me how like i'm not gonna take that away he has he definitely has shown me how good things can get and it's just up to me to actually believe that will they you know sometimes everything boils down to you like will you actually believe it because i think it is your belief in your faith and your prayers that unlocks all that you know and i also made a note my other prayer book journal <laughs> i've also made a note here and yeah so basically i said here that if you don't believe that the thing you, if you don't believe the things that god says are coming then you can never have them you know i also said that you also need to pay attention to what god also allows you to see because it's exactly that that will allow you to see things and fit those particular things that you see into the dream that god has given you you know like even when things go downhill you're like god i've really lost at this but you need, you need to understand that there's really no losing when it comes to god no one really gets anything that they believe they couldn't have 
and in everything that you want or the way that you desire to live your life or whatever it is that you look forward to living do not compare yourself to other people and say all oh, these journeys are really great and mine isn't because like every single person goes through a period of preparation and maybe they don't articulate it I mean that they don't go through things you know um but every single person man goes through seasons guys like people go through seasons seasons and all i'm really trying to say guys is that whether you go through a phase of darkness or whether you go through a phase of light or whatever it is like hold on to god's promises bro i promise you life is going to change and when it changes things are about to get good i really feel it you know like i'm really recording this video and it's just like i can't see it but like i really can't lie i'm not gonna lie and it's really nice because I'm really filming this right now and I'd really love to get back to this content and really reflect on it and be like, yeah. There was a time in my life where life was showing me flames, boy. Where I'm just like, there's hope. Like, I'm really here telling you that I'm in a season of losing my mind. Where I'm just like waiting on God. So in that time period, like, I just really don't want to come here and tell you guys that you know what, you're feelings are invalid or you're selfish for feeling that way or whatever it is i'm not here to discredit anyone's emotions or anything like that man i just really want to say that no matter what it what it is that you do like never lose hope don't go through a period of despair like it's okay for you to go through it but just never lose hope you know and i feel like above all it's just faith that really unlocks everything like you need to have faith and whatever it is or whatever season that you go through in the dark there always will be light guys and i feel like the only thing that i've always also encouraged myself on is when i go through stuff i always tell myself that this is a season and it will pass you know it's just a season it will pass all that you have to do is continuously mention yourself in the word and don't be easily shaken by the things of this world don't be easily shaken by your circumstances don't be easily shaken by whatever it is that's currently presenting itself to you don't be easily shaken by that but continuously hold on to like your promises and everything that you manifest and everything that you believe that you could possibly be and because it is not your reality right now it doesn't mean that it will never be and because you never accomplished all that you wanted to accomplish in this particular time period it doesn't mean that you're never gonna accomplish it yes the year's ending the chances are not you know the chances are not the opportunities are not like i really don't want to lie it's really not nice going through a period of uncertainty and yes i've said certain things in this video to actually console myself but it's really hard waiting on god but i can't have it any other way to be honest i really don't want to have it any other way i can't have it any other way because i also feel like when you're in a season of like waiting on god or a season where you're just desperate for something to happen i feel like it's also a moment where like the enemy will just keep on throwing you with hits after hits because you're vulnerable you're in need of something that's where the enemy will just keep throwing hits after hits hits after hits hits after hits and it's important for you to be able to differentiate between what God sends to you and what the enemy does and this is why I'm also emphasizing on the importance of confirmation always pray for confirmation guys because this life that we're in is a battlefield my boy there's a lot happening i just really want to say thank you guys so much for watching please do check out the sermons that i have linked in the description box below also please check out my other videos surely you will enjoy my content and if you have not subscribed please click on the subscribe button if it is red click on it and thank you so much for watching i hope to i don't know guys like i just really pray hope that you guys will also add some positivity in the comment section as well because life has just really been mad but above all man thank you so much for watching i will see you guys next week wednesday also don't forget to click on the bell to always get a notification when you go uploads cool thanks bye